Hey y'all, what's up? It's Sugar Vanity and you are watching Reality TV where all things are real, maybe a little bit too real, but all real things are great, okay? Because we like offness, authenticity, we like originality, we like things brand new. And yeah, this is what that's all about. And so last week, oh disclaimer, yeah, um... I'm doing whatever, who cares? But last week I was talking about being tired, sick and tired of being sick and tired. And this week I'll be following up a little bit about that, but I'll be following up about being tired, but I'm in a different context. So a lot of people, um, when I talk to a lot of my single friends, they're tired of being single. And, and like, I was one of those like a week ago, man, I'm tired of being single, man, I just want to settle down and do all this stuff, but on my way back home from Tampa to Tally, I was like, yo, no, I need to be single, I really do, and so I just want everyone to know that being single is okay, it's not anything to fear, it doesn't mean, just because you're single does not mean you're sad, you're uh, you're a sad person, you're unwanted, you're ugly, it really does not, that really doesn't solve the answer. Um, being single is cool, and if anything, it's like the cool thing these days. And so, speaking for myself, I'm single because I still need to prepare for my man, my future. And, you know, like, I'm still a little bit selfish or maybe a whole lot selfish. Um, I can be really wishy-washy. I'm not even going to front. One minute, I'm like, yay, love. And then the next minute, I'm like, yo, just get away from me, please. I want to be alone. And I think until I can balance that out or whatever, integrate both, um, until then, I won't be ready for a serious long-term relationship because... You know, you can't just get, you can't sell the house whenever you're tired of living in it. So, um, but you know, housing and relationships are totally different. So, yeah, I still need time to prepare myself. I need to, uh, um, and by prepare myself, I'm talking about working on myself. A lot of debate has been going on that a lot of girls want a dude who is well established who's built already and then the arguing point is that oh well the girl the woman needs to build with him and all this stuff and i'm like well what about women who are built because i can honestly say i sh for my age compared to the dudes that i've been dating i have my stuff together and and i am one of those girls who's like yo my dude needs to have his stuff together i'm not i'm not trying to build him up i'm not trying to build any more of these dudes and that's another reason why i'm single because my past relationships have been so bad so toxic that i'm in no rush and so they that's always like a debate oh well girls they want someone who has a car who has a house um doesn't anybody like i live in my own place i have my own car i mean my parents bought it for me but i'm on wheels and so maybe i don't want a dude who's like super rich and all this stuff but i want i do want a dude who's just as qualified if not more qualified than what i am and that's just being real and that's part of me preparing myself i'm dating dudes i'm seeing what i do and what i don't like mainly what i don't like and yeah, this is crazy. Um, and I'm also focusing on what's important. I'm focusing that, you know, like, because I, I write a lot in my journals. Like, I'm reading from my journal now because sometimes this is unstructured. Unstructured. And, um, and so I took notes to keep myself on point. And, like, when I, like, read back on my journal entries and I'm venting about... Um, boys or whatever, I see that I am so petty Pam. Like, I'm talking about um, things that really just have to do with my insecurities or things that don't really matter. Um, and so I'm just focusing more on what 
really is important. Like, for instance, myself. I always try to give my I always try to give people everything and then I get mad when I don't get every when I don't get things in return. And it's not like, oh well, I'm only giving you something because I want something in return. It's that I'm giving you something because I I give people things because I don't know what to give to myself, honestly. And um and I realized that I need to stop giving so much and give more to myself because what I expect from other people is actually what I need to give to myself. And so that goes part of preparing myself. Another reason why I'm single is because I'm young. Like, I am 24. A lot of us are young. People I know who are younger than 24, like, just chill. It's okay to be single. Like... A lot of people our age are married. Yes, all of my homegirls are married or in a serious relationship or their or their moms. And so I'm the only bachelorette. Yeah, I'm gonna represent that title because that's what I am. And and you know, just because you see everybody being married, everybody wifed up, does not mean that you are you're late, you're behind. It really doesn't. It just means that you're not married like i'm not about to get deep okay like it's just simple as that like you're not like rather you rather i mean let me speak for myself i'm not married because i'm not ready to be married okay like i'm barely even ready to pay back my school loans much less be married to someone for a whole for the rest of my life and and there's so many things to accomplish i'm not saying that yes people who are i'm not saying that people who are who are our age young 20s early whatever mid 20s or younger i'm not saying that they don't have things to accomplish because they're wifed up but what i'm saying is that everyone's situation is different so i know for me my best friend let me say my best friend she's married she had things to accomplish and she's doing it with her husband i have things to accomplish and it's i need to do it on my own like seriously there's so that's why so many divorce there's so many divorces i found in my research that about 45 percent of united states residents of age 18 and older are unmarried 53 percent of them are women and 47 percent are men how many of them are divorced 24 percent are divorced and 60 percent never married 63 percent never married and that's just like i my theory is we're not ready to get married like a lot of us don't be ready to get married and so And we're selfish like when we're west up we're in that when we're in that committed relationship we want to do everything and have our cake but we have to embrace being single because there's no restriction in that and you can just run free do whatever it is you need to do before you're a little bit more tied down and lastly you can't be in a committed relationship if you have no self-love like I was in a successful, it was great. It looked like Beyonce and Jay-Z relationship. Um, like, it's going on two years. And I'm slowly, finally, I think I'm letting it go now. Like, I was hooked for, like, this whole time. Even when I did have a boyfriend. Um, a new one. But, everyone thought we were so perfect. All this stuff. People always ask us questions, advice and all this stuff. But, honestly, like, I was still insecure, although I was at my finest when I was with him, I was really insecure and it took me now to learn that I need to practice more self-love rather than wanting to go give someone else my love. That love that I could give someone else can really be for me and, and I started to appreciate myself more. I didn't... I, Oh, I wish. Like, I did not appreciate everything that I had when I was with him. Like, I didn't have, I barely had bills. I was looking fly. I was um, looking fly clothes and, and physically. And right, and I didn't appreciate it at that time. Now, whew, I wish. And also, your value. Like, I need to, like, before I didn't know how much I was worth. So, I always would, like, tempt him or push his buttons or just snap and stuff but no i am a young classy woman and i need to know that i am not worth snapping and acting real ratchet and all that stuff it's not cool 
And so to conclude this, the being single episode, just because you're single does not mean you're beautiful. I'm beautiful and I'm single as a dollar bill, okay? And the time will come. It takes a long time to be with someone for a long time. And so, yeah, you don't want to be one of those statistics who is, who's divorced and never married and nothing like that. Just take your time. Um, one, one metaphor, I always like to use metaphors. One metaphor that I use, um, to my friend is that, you know, you work real hard to get that promotion. Sometimes it's going to take a year to get promoted or longer. Well, it's just like that with the man, with a significant other. It's going to take a long time for you to find someone. And then it's going to take another longer time for you to move on to bigger stages. I love you. You, oh, this is the best. Okay. You got to sit on a tree before love and marriage. Drop Smike. You know? First comes somebody and somebody sitting on a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. You got to sit on a tree before you kiss, before you love, and then before you get married, and then have the babies in the baby carriage. So thanks for tuning in. And you rock. Remember, being single is cool, too. Ooh, my hair frizzy. Bye.